With 2 million square feet of indoor space, many regard the NEC in Birmingham as the UK's epicentre of the exhibition industry. But this is the only thing that's been on display since March, after the venue was turned into one of the UK's makeshift hospitals. Conferences and events had looked set to start reopening on the 1st of this month, but with rising infection rates up and down the country, that plan has now been shelved. This is an industry where there are lots of small, medium-sized businesses, sole providers as well, which really, really matters to the West Midlands. So the hope is that we were really, really good at this and we've got to get back at being good at it, which means, as the message here says, we've got to find a way of safely opening small scale first, then building back up. The government insists it is working to support live events. £1.5 billion has already been pledged to the cultural sector, but that funding does not extend to the businesses in the industry's supply chain. They claim they have now reached their 11th hour. They say help is needed before the clock strikes 12. Pablo Taylor, ITV News. Birmingham Hippodrome has reopened and is staging a world-renowned exhibition dedicated to the painter Vincent van Gogh. With more than 3,000 images and surround sound, it's the closest thing to a live performance the theatre can currently achieve. Andy Bevan went for a look. You've probably seen much of Vincent van Gogh's work, even if you didn't realise it, but you won't have seen it like this. And however often you might have visited Birmingham Hippodrome before the virus shut it down back in March, you won't have walked on the stage. But now you can. Van Gogh Alive is an immersive 4D experience showcasing the Dutch artist's iconic paintings on huge screens along with a dramatic musical accompaniment. The exhibition has travelled the world and now it's making its UK debut in what was Britain's busiest theatre. We've taken all of the seats out of downstairs, the stalls, and extended the stage right out. So the exhibition is on the Hippodrome extended stage. You are standing where you know, great stars have stood for the last 120 years. Staff have gone to great lengths to make this a safe space, with pre-booked visits, compulsory mask wearing, and a one-way system. There are hand sanitising stations at every stop, like the Sunflower Sensory Room, perfect for a socially distanced selfie. And Van Gogh's bedroom, another of his most famous works, brought to life in this 3D set. It breaks down the boundaries um, to, to introduce people to art, people that potentially wouldn't uh, necessarily visit an art gallery, um, that are interested in art and, and maybe even a digital uh, medium as well. And so the combination of Van Gogh's art in this digital environment and this sort of large-scale immersive environment works really well. We find that it resonates with visitors of all ages and backgrounds. The Hippodrome, like all live entertainment venues, continues to struggle. 65 staff, half the workforce, has been made redundant and going from an annual audience of 600,000 to zero has been devastating. But this 12-week run, which will include audio-described and British Sign Language performances, as well as relaxed and accessible time slots, could be a lifeline. I guess in dark times, there were, I thought we may never reopen again. It, it's a shame that you know we're not, not gearing up for pantomime in the Christmas season, but such a blessing to have found Van Gogh alive and to be able to do the UK premiere of this really stunning exhibition. And for some of those most eager to get back inside the Hippodrome as it reopened its doors this morning after seven months, it was an emotional return. It was really nice being here, but in a completely different experience, yeah. Everything's spaced out, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Sort of calm it within at the moment, it's really nice, so uh, it's really uplifting. I thought it was a good way to use the space and make sure people are coming back. Quite awe-inspiring and um, quite emotional to be out in the theatre again. No one knows when theatres will be able to fully reopen. The Hippodrome has already said there won't be any live performances before next spring. But at least for now, there are stars on its famous stage once again. Andy Bevan, ITV News. And just quickly, it was a night to remember for the Midlands.